So today it is my honor to introduce this year's Valentine lady. And um, if um, well, I'm going to have her. I'm going to have her come up, and um, but she could. She knows who she is, and her escort knows who she is. But I want them to come up, and I want to tell you about them. But I want to talk about them first. So if they could come stand here, please. <laughs> About our wonderful Valentine lady, Miss Kay Bolin. Um, I'm going to peek at some notes here. So, um, for um, her nomination, her, her mission in, in, in Loveland, from a friend that wrote this in, her mission in Loveland is to make sure that, that Loveland is a community where everyone feels loved. She will give you the most beautiful smile, one that melts your heart and lights up a room. She is sunshine, love, energy, all rolled into a beautiful package. And that was read, um, submitted by another Valentine lady, and um, that, that was spot on. So thank you for that, Jan Renard. Another letter that um, was submitted by Sonia Smith um, just gave a little bit of background that her business, Whistle Stop Playworks, brings joy and love to the city of love. Loveland and shared a poem, you are, you are Amazing, which sums up why she felt this person should be the 2018 Valentine Lady. She outlined her involvement in our city. And just to name a couple of, of things that are she's involved in is the uh, Little Miami River Chamber Alliance. She has been there forever. She's worked on the beautif Beautification Committee. She was on Loveland Arts Council. Um, she's pretty much volunteered for any event at any time that you can think of um, within the city of Loveland. Those are just a couple of highlights, and I know there's millions of more, but I kind of skirted over it. She and her husband um, are the owners of Whistle Stop Playworks, and um, uh, still are today. They've retired since then, um, somewhat. She always says that, and that she's always saying. So um, now that, that I've cats out of the bag, if we could give Cable on a nice round of applause. words in a minute but I wanted to also introduce another very special person in the city of Loveland and um, this is a, a first time thing this year we're really excited about that for the, the committee and we decided to bring in Mr. Corey Parton as the Valentine escort and, uh, the letter that was submitted for him states that he's the most genuine soul you will ever meet and has lived in Loveland his entire life with no plans to ever leave. He leaves everyone he meets with a smile and a warm feeling. So I know, I know we just applauded them, but if we could give them each another round. I'm gonna invite them up to say a few words each. Um, wow, uh, well first of all, I just wanna say it's an honor to be nominated, much less chosen. Um, I'm number 31, which means I'm kicking off the fourth decade of the Valentine Ladies, which I think is pretty cool. I think that deserves yeah. I have to say just a few thank yous. One, to uh, the Chamber, CC and Meredith for all they do for the Valentine program, as well as for our community. For the City of Loveland and City Council, thank you for having us here every year and supporting the program like you do. It's very much appreciated. Um, this is Sonia Smith, J.M. Renard. Uh, thank you for writing the uh, letters of nomination. And I've got to say, I can't believe you two kept it a secret. <laughs> you did well. <laughs> and uh, then lastly, uh, all the Valentine ladies. You've each contributed something very unique and special to our community. And that means a lot to the community. It makes Loveland Loveland. Um, last but not least, I'd like to thank the Loveland Firefighters Association. I don't know if Op will remember this, but uh, back in uh, 1992, the firefighters sponsored, uh, it was a 4th of July carnival in historic Loveland on Railroad Avenue. Well, Tim and I were dating at the time, so we decided, well, let's go down to the carnival. We want to get a couple hot dogs, you know, and just kind of see what's going on. So we go to the carnival. We never made it to the hot dog stand, but we did see a house for sale. Long story short, we never got a hot dog, but we did end up buying a house. 
house. And we're still in that house today. You know, we, we joke today saying that was the most expensive hot dog that we never had. <laughs> but it was a great way to just get us into the Loveland community. The second best thing that ever happened to us was getting a dog in 2004. And we were walking the dog one day on the bike trail and ran into Pat Furter. And I think within 24 hours, I was a volunteer for the Loveland Stage Company. And anybody that knows Pat will know that that's not a surprise. So, uh, and then I'm thrilled for 2018. Um, it's quite an honor, quite humbling. And I'm psyched as far as Corey being my uh, escort. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun and I uh, really, really have a good time with it. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. Since you're gonna forgo your time. I just want to say we're lucky in Loveland to have the Valentine ladies and we, we do recognize it, that these ladies all that they have done over so many years giving back to the community and and we're it, it's special not, not every city can say they have the Valentine ladies only only Loveland can say that so we appreciate you we are very happy that, to have you in our community we appreciate everything that you do we love when you show up like this at these events and I would like Cece to, to introduce each of you um, stand up so we can recognize you just for being who you are and being such a great part of our community. Or you can just get away. <laughs> we have, uh, don't, don't ask me to do the years, that's not fair. Carol Williams right here, she was 2017, I've got that one down, so Carol give a wave if you could. <laughs> Lori Gordon, Lori Gordon. Sorry. Pat Berger. Good one. Ian Fowler. Oh, she wants you to know she's she's the oldest one here. One here, I think is the best way. Uh, Sue Lundy. Jean Renard. Linda Cox. Lou Boyke. Thank you, ladies, for making time and, and, and the effort to come here tonight. Um, before I give up the microphone, I do want to tell you just a couple more things that go on, if I could let the community know. Um, we do an art contest as well in the city of Loveland. So each year we have, as I kind of glazed over here, a, an art contest, and it gets put into a stamp. And we get um, at least over a 1,000 Love, uh, love, what am I trying to say, Valentine cards that um, come to Loveland to get postmarked and have that commemorative stamp put on there. So those go right to the post office. These ladies work very hard stamping those each year. So starting on the 31st, anybody can take their Valentine card to the post office, have it stamped with a commemorative art, and then uh, postmarked from the, the city of love, Loveland. And um, this year we're excited to an announce we talked about um, Roland Boyke is the one who actually started the program, and um, he actually did the art this year, so it's really special. So you want to make sure you get this year's art put onto your Valentine program. Um, we kind of come together at the end of um, the, the Valentine holiday on February 9th, not quite Valentine's Day, and we have a breakfast at the Oasis. It's open to the public. It's February 9th at 8 a.m. <coughs> excuse me, 8 a.m. at Oasis. Um, come out, we honor the Valentine ladies. It's a very special program. It'll definitely get you in the Valentine mood. Um, a couple other things really quick. We're selling these for cancer-free kids. 100% of the proceeds go to cancer-free kids. And you can get these at some of the businesses around town. Um, a little bracelet, free Valentine gift for your loved one. Uh, we have hearts if you'd like to honor someone. And um, we're getting ready to choose our poetry and Valentino contest winners. And I think that's it. Just like to thank the sponsors of the program, Loveland Healthcare and Loveland Sims Fire Department. So that's it. Thank you very much for the time. Appreciate everything.